This week on the Cruising Kiwis, we launch the Jenica. Oh, the sail is amazing. We get a lesson in true and apparent wind. True wind is what we feel when we're standing still. And we have a spot of trouble pulling the Jenica in. Oi! Off she goes. Man, we are, we are whiz banging along in this breeze. Oh, this sail is amazing. It's sending us along really amazing. Well, we gotta, we got to monitor the wind speed though, because I'm not sure, uh, exactly sure at what time, sorry, what wind speed of apparent wind, this is the important one, that we need to think about dropping the sail. Otherwise it'll overload the rig. We don't want to overload the rig. I think about uh, 13, 14 knots is about maximum. And just a little observation here, I've noticed that the, um, the uh, wash out the back of the boat is a bit different. Um, and I, it's primarily because all the power is out right out in front of the boat, which means sort of, kind of naturally means if it's out the front of my fingertips there, that's got a tendency to pull downwards at the bow and, and hits full width the stern lifts up slightly and I can see that in the stern the way the water's coming out of the back of the stern often when we're sailing normally there's water comes up under the bottom step but it doesn't seem to be doing that so much uh, at the moment okay we're doing five knots of speed six knots of speed there seven knots of speed there and the wind gauge is six seven knots so it's about 14 15 knots of real wind but it's less as we feel it because we're running with the wind which means the apparent wind is slightly less. It's a mathematical equation. Easy. I don't actually really understand that whole thing with true and apparent wind. The difference between true and apparent wind? No. Okay, well we'll go through it in detail. Eh? True wind is what we feel when we're standing still. Okay? The apparent wind is the wind experienced by an observer in motion and is the relative velocity of the wind in relation to the observer. Yeah? The velocity of the apparent wind is the vector sum of the velocity of the headwind, which is the velocity a moving object would experience in still air, plus the velocity of the true wind. The headwind is the additive inverse of the object's velocity. Therefore, the velocity of the apparent wind can also be defined as a vector sum of the velocity of the true wind minus the velocity of the object. Any questions? What's for dinner? Oh, well, to simplify that, if we're standing on this boat going into the wind, the apparent wind is the speed of the boat plus the true wind which is coming into the boat. So if the true wind is 5 knots, we're travelling at 7 knots into the wind. The apparent wind is 12 knots. Does that make sense? Conversely, if we're going away from the wind or with the wind, if the true wind is 10 knots and we're travelling at 5 knots, the wind we feel is 5 knots. The wind we were feeling was beginning to increase. Was it time to pull in the sail? So... Oh, there goes. <laughs> We're a bit angsty about the sail being up, and um, oh, you see from up here the, um, the view I've got from the sail behind me just pushing us along, and it's doing such a good job. I'm kind of loath to take it down because we are we are pushing it a little bit in terms of light. It'd be nice to get into Savi Savi before dusk. But the problem with this, is, as much as anything actually, is, is the swell as well. The swell's making the boat swing up into the wind and then back down again. One minute I think, God, oh, it's actually fine. It's ticking along nicely. The boat handling it fine. Then you get a big surge on a swell and the boat turns up into the swell. 
and you know the load of the rudders to bring it back down again is really high but uh, I think we'll carry on for a minute anyway. The apparent wind is between 10 and 12 knots and our boat speed is between 8 and uh, we got up to 12 and a half knots just before on a swell. We're just not used to this speed actually. We usually go pretty slow. So we're thinking about bringing in the Jenica. Firstly we released the Genoa and beared away to starboard to get the wind out of the Jenica and into the Genoa. That's not working. Far out, hang on, hang on. Just a minute. Gee, okay. Hang on a minute. So that's not really doing much, is it? Hang on, no, wait, Rach, wait, wait, wait. Um, it's not quite having the effect I was hoping it would have. Far out. Oh man. No, it's not. I think maybe I need to pull the sail in this way a bit more first. Now I'm going to... Hey? You could try letting it down a little bit, Declan, but you've got to stay, keep it in control, mate. Declan released the halyard slightly to no effect. Yeah, just stay back, mate. In fact, I'll you go back into the cabin. Should we turn into the wind? No, that mate just accelerates it up. The risk of turning up wind to port was to power up the sail even more, risking gear breakage, or worse, capsize. Oh, hang on, Dixie, just a moment. I've got an idea. I'm letting this out a bit more. Yeah, that's flapping. No, that's not going to help too much, actually. No, I'm going to put that back in. Lock it back in. We might, I might have to get you to pull this in at some point. And you'll have to swing on it there, maybe. But stay inside, okay? Righto. Yeah, you're going to have to lower it slowly, Declan. Oh, all right. Oh, that's enough. Gee. Well, we have got enough to Chump. pull in. No, we haven't, have we? Have we? Loads to pull in. Yeah. This was very different to previous drops we'd done in lesser wind, where it'd been relatively easy. Okay. So we thought we'd take matters to hand, only to cause more problems. Okay, down a little bit. Oi! Off she goes. <laughs> right on. Let's just rip it. Let's get the knife. Pass me the knife and cut it. Oh, seriously. You reckon? Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, yep. A uh, little bit. Okay, we uh this is not working, is it? I decided to tighten the Jenica sheet to bring the sail closer to the side of the yacht. Go um I need to be able to get it in more, don't we? You have to get in, have to get in, have to get in. Oh, no. um. oh, I don't want to go in the water. How the hell can No, just leave it there. It's not, it's not. At this stage, I decided to try plan A again and turn the yacht further to starboard to try and capture the wind in the Genoa and out of the Jenica again. Bear, actually, tell you what, go 10 degrees to starboard. Let's just see what happens. Oh, yes, actually. 10 degrees to starboard. I'm yep. Try get it to jive. Not jive, no. Just want to get this sail taking a bit of the wind. Okay, how's that going now?
Yeah, that's still got a holy, holy gui guacamole! Man, that was full on. Uh, so that was an epic fail. Well, yeah, yeah, I mean, it wasn't a complete fail because we managed to get out of it. Could have been a major, it was a minor in the, in the end. Only a, a bit of damage to the sail, but it could have been a, quite a major. Hey, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's an often there's an old saying, um, sailors saying that uh, you know when you've 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 just what has got when you've decided it's time to reef, it's too late. Often it's the first time you think about reefing, that's when you should reef. I actually <laughs> said that we shouldn't put the sail up in the first place. <laughs> he did actually, <laughs> but it was perfect conditions then for the Jennica at that time. And uh, the thing is, what happened is it crept up on us. The wind crept up and up and going, oh, should we go? Should we go? When we're say, saying that, that's when we should have dropped it. You know, we were thinking, oh, should we, should we? Man, get it down. And it snuck up on us. The wind lifted over a period of um, an hour and a half, two hours, just slowly, half a knot, a knot, just slowly, 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 until we went from 20, went from about 12 to 13 knots true wind to about 20, 22 knots true wind. Now apparent wind went up accordingly. The wind that the wind was, the sail was um, <clears throat> uh, feeling, and we were feeling, and yeah, it was a major. Have we learned anything for that, Declan? <clears throat> yes, we have. Of course, we have. So uh, all ends well. That ends well. The other thing is, we would like to talk about our last episode. We um, said that it was a competition that Michael Hill, jeweler, is uh, donating a pendant for. And uh, we're also going to donate a, uh, a sail with us here on, uh, on board with the Cruising Kiwis. And we're going to have to delay that competition because we're sort of working out some details that we hope we think will be better and uh, cooler and more exciting. So until then, have a great day. Declan, you're so like, good on camera. Like, I don't know what it is, but you're just really good. Uh, just amazing. If you enjoyed this video, please consider sharing it and give us a thumbs up. It helps us heaps.